How's it going, Blazers? This is David Blade Banter. We're going to talk to you now, Smoking Mountain and Knife Works. So we have Tyler here now, so we're going to yes, go sir. through some of the things here. Uh, so first question is going to be kind of an icebreaker. So now give me a number of 1 through 25. Uh, three. Lucky okay. number three. Okay, number three. Uh, what are you reading right now? What am I reading? Yep. Uh, a Song of Ice and Fire, George R. R. Martin. Very nice. And then, uh, so now going from there, I guess what's your most popular models? I guess what do you guys wanted to show off you know, that you guys are finding that sells really well? Um, well, some of the most popular things that, that we've been selling here lately for us is our new exclusive with uh, Benchmade. This is the popular version of the, the 940 Osborne. We did red carbon fiber scales with uh, red um, thumb stud. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is just an awesome piece. Um, we wanted to do a few other things to it to kind of make it, you know, pop a little bit more, but obviously, um, you know, there's only so much that Benchmade could do in the time frame. Um, so, you know, weren't able to do that. But we also added the M390 steel, which is pretty awesome stuff. But uh, yeah, no, this is one of our best sellers right now. Uh, it's one of my favorites. Uh, but no, uh, we've got these online. Like I said, this is our Benchmade exclusive right now. Yeah, because even the top part of where you guys kind of uh, have the, the chamfering a little bit on the top is a little different. Yes, yes. So, so no, from there, I guess, what's the new stuff coming out? Are, are you guys um, excited about as far as... Uh, some of the new stuff like that it? we're excited about, like right now, uh, Artisan Cutlery is one of the newer brands, um, kind of in the industry right now. I mean, we didn't start picking up their products a little bit before Blade Show. And uh, here's one of their more popular models. This is the Tomahawk. It is D2 tool steel with uh, ceramic ball bearings and G10 handle scales. I think we're selling these for right at 40 bucks. Uh, and it's just a fantastic value for the money. Very I mean, it, they work great. Uh, the warranty's fantastic. The walk and talk is great. Um, no, I mean, these are just such fantastic knives for the money. Nice. Um, you know, something else we're excited about too. Um, this is the new SEJG5, which is another Smoky Mountain Knife Works exclusive. Um, I actually personally had a hand in designing this, and kind of the uh, the story behind it was was that uh, you know the, the folks from SE Knives were up at our store, mm -hmm. and um, you know they said you know we wish that you know we could appeal more to hunters and you know get our knives to you know more in the hunting crowd. I said, well, guys, um, it was Jeff uh, Jeff Randall and. Um, and uh, Patrick and Rollins and uh, uh, I forget who else, but anyway, I just said, guys, look, you don't make a, a, a true traditional hunting knife looking. So I said, I've got some designs laid back. Let me, you know, send them to you and let's look at making a knife. So I did, and uh, you know, we showed them to James Gibson, who took my basic design and made kind of, you know, added the James Gibson magic yeah, to it. That's how we came out with uh, the JG5. Um, and it's it's uh, kind of a throwback of George Washington Sears mm -hmm. uh, Nesmuk style knife. Uh, it seems like I had a lot of pride to it as far as knowing that that was basically yeah. your baseline uh, that you did for that. Yeah, and you know it's you know and he George Washington Sears is almost you know uh, he would be a fan of Essie because he's that you know almost the grandfather of bushcrafting uh, outdoors. I mean just you know really well made product uh, you know that can stand the beating and Essie you know really did great when they uh, they took his st his blade style and uh, came out with this yeah amazing thing about Essie I mean they have their like no questions asked warranty yeah, yeah you can drop yeah. my sales pitches and it's true you can ask uh, you can ask Mike and uh, and Jeff that you could accidentally drop this in a wood chipper mm -hmm. send them back the parts along with your warranty and they'll send you another one for free <laughs> now you can only do that once yeah, yeah. but yeah it's a no questions asked warranty but it's um but yeah those are those are the three things that you know what's new what's exciting what's some of our best sellers awesome. but, yeah, but those uh those are, are our favorites right now very good and then as far as yourself I mean, what's the first knife that you remember actually picking up the first knife that i picked up was a smith and wesson uh, sw 2001 it was a baby swat knife and uh yeah th that was one of the first Knives. As soon as I got it, though, my dad went out and doled it, and uh, <laughs> he gave it back to me. I guess he, he knew yeah. I would be a, a you know a typical kid. Yeah, no one cut it yourself or anybody else. But uh, but yeah, I remember the SW two thousand one. Man, we should sell the the heck out of those. Nice, awesome. I do appreciate the time. Thank you very much. All right, thank you.